I'm sitting in a pintail nest out here in a, in a nice field of nesting cover, and it's a good spot to talk about the problems facing pintails. As you probably know, pintail numbers are way below the long-term average. They've declined for years and years. Any duck population that's low, it's probably either a, a survival issue or a production issue. And we think for pintails it's a production issue. Pintails just aren't producing like they used to. Two problems facing pintails on the prairies. Pintails typically nested in the western Canadian prairies at their highest density, Alberta, Saskatchewan. And, uh, and one of the problems facing pintail, one serious problem, is wetland drainage. We're still seeing high rates of wetland drainage. It really hasn't slowed down. And unfortunately, the ponds being drained the most are those seasonals and temporaries, shallow water ponds, which are exactly what pintails love. And those are the easiest ones to drain. They simply cut a ditch in that thing, in, the, in this small wetland, and drain it into a larger wetland. And that really is detrimental for pintails, more so than other ducks. The second factor that is, uh, is lower nest success. A lot of pintails are failing because of a change in agriculture. Back in the 70s, let's say, a farmer cut his wheat in the summer, late summer in August, and left the stubble, okay? And it was about that high. And then he came in in September and tilled it up so that he would be ready to plant in the spring. Well, in the, in the 80s and 90s, a huge shift occurred in agriculture, and now they leave the stubble all winter. The stubble catches the snow. We're out in the western prairies, right, and it's dry. So they capture the snow, the hold the snow, the blowing snow, and, uh, and that leads to increased soil moisture in the spring. And then they come in and they plant right into the stubble. The problem is pintails are used to nesting in sparse grass in the western prairies. So they view all that stubble, millions and millions of acres of it, wheat stubble, as perfectly good nesting cover, and they go right in there. This pintail chose this beautiful nesting field, but pintails don't select this field any more often than they select the adjacent field that's stubble. So most pintail nests are in stubble, and they don't do very well. They're very exposed. They're not well hidden like this nest. So if the predators don't get them, then this super efficient machine, John Deere, and, and the planting scrambles the eggs late in incubation. So if they fail once, like this female almost undoubtedly failed once, she only has seven eggs, right? Early nesting females have nine or ten. So this is a renest. Some pintails have hatched by this point in June um, two weeks ago. This pintail has really just finished laying. So she's a renest, but many of the females just renest in the stubble and, and fail again. And then they don't renest much more than once or twice. They're not like mallards, which are the king of renesting. So pintails have declined because of loss of wetlands, but we've had this extended wet period. So it's more about this nesting and stubble and the failure that that causes. So that's the cause of the pintail decline.